So I guess where we're heading. I don't know whether you can make that out in the background, but we're on the Birdsville track. So it's pretty exciting. We did the Unadada yesterday um, for the first time. Now we're doing the Birdsville today. We had, uh, we stayed at Marie last night, um, and we're going to be staying at I think Clifton Springs, so which is pretty exciting. Um, yeah, follow us along, and uh, we'll show you what the Birdsville track's all about. Whether it's just uh, dust like these vehicles that are coming past. Or it's, uh, or it should hopefully be nice. But we're taking the uh, the family and the van. What we've done is we've taped all the vents up at least uh, on the van, just to stop this uh, fine bull dust that gets uh, caught up in three vents. So I'll show you down on the side. If you're wondering. So we taped up these ones, a bit of polished, um, a bit of polycarbonate with some uh, masking tape. We just masked up the aircon vents as well as the air vents for the inside. We masked all those up just to help stop the dust from going inside. But um, yeah, and then we got the stone stomper as well. So hopefully that keeps, uh, keeps all the stones from ricocheting off the back of the caravan into the window, because apparently that's a, uh, a common problem that they have. So, anyway, how are we feeling, Dale? Oh, I've already got up a coffee now. Whoa, good stuff. Yeah, it's from like servo. Servo coffee? Yeah, it's from coffee. Can't beat it. All right, let's keep rolling. So the first stop on the Birdsville track coming from Marie is Clayton Wetlands Campsite. They got hot showers, toilets, hot artesian baths. Oh, yes. That sounds exotic. And the camping ground. So you just uh, whack an old left though from the uh, from the main dirt road and travel down the other dirt road. So we'll show you what the artesian baths are all about. And here is what they class as the Artesian Spring. It's a big horse trough that has, has toasty water in it. So the water is subheated to approximately 50 degrees, which is pretty cool. They should water tank. They got uh, toilets here. And then uh, they've actually got these cool outback showers, which I'll uh, I'll take you over and uh, we'll have a look at that. Right, so uh, yeah, they got these couple of these outback showers, which are uh, pretty sick. Bit of moo moo decking. And yeah, it's that subheated hot water that comes through. It's probably a bit too hot for me, but um, yeah, Sydney really liked it. The temperature coming out of it. So out in the middle of the desert, you can get a nice hot shower. Pretty spot on if you ask me. It's pretty picturesque. But um, yeah, all right, we'll keep showing you what's down the Birdsville track. All right, so we've pulled into the Mangerini Hotel. Um, so we're just gonna spend one night here and then head off, head off to the sand dunes. Sit the pub in the background. Do a good feed, nice cold beers. So yeah, we're gonna head off to the sand dunes uh, tomorrow, um, which is about 85k just out of Birdsville. And then, uh, yeah, I'll show you up what it looks like with the drone. Um, there's a massive sign up on the top, similar to the Dargo Hotel. But yeah, it's, uh, it's not too bad. It's only 10 bucks a night, nice hot showers, good feed. And it to the end of the Birdsville track we started at Marie 512 kilometers later we're in Queensland at Birdsville now you probably would thinking why is he sounding so nasally this whole time well unfortunately us the Watt family have been sick for the last week yeah, not COVID though not COVID yeah. so that was a bonus but unfortunately we got up we trippied on and, um, Just making sure we're not going anywhere. Yeah. Better so yeah, that's the Birdsville track, done and dusted. Um, now we're gonna head into Birdsville. It's literally only two kilometers from this sign here. Uh, we're gonna stock up on some groceries. Wait for everyone else to turn up because we left first in this morning. Yep. Um, and then we'll show you what the big bash is all about. So stick with us, we should be excited. You know what they say when you act like a tourist on the road? You gotta stop at every sign. And this one says, Birdsville! Finally made it, babe. I know, I finally made it. Finally Such made it. Trip. Yep, it was good. We're both crooked as a dog. Will's probably the only healthy one out of his boat. I know. But um, no, it's definitely been worth it, so. Yeah, super exciting. 
We had a big red bash in July. Show you the big sign. Oh, that movie made it. You don't realize how fortunate we are to be driving back on tarmac and getting off the dust. Because there is dust throughout the van, throughout the four wheel drive, throughout my lungs, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, there's a sign. So, what's off road? We made it. Pretty exciting times. All right, let's keep trucking and fill up. All right, so we're just arriving at the Big Red Bash, which is at Big Red in Birdsville. How are we feeling, Sindo? Oh yeah, not too bad. Excited to be here. We're all feeling a little bit healthier because it's blue skies, sun, and about 20 degrees. So it's quite warm throughout the day. Dry up this uh, the old chesty cough. But I'll, I'll shoot you up and you can have a, have a bit of a squindle as we're sitting in the uh, in gridlock to get into the campsite. How are you feeling, Mr. Vander? Yeah, not bad. Before the broken bones. Feeling really good? Yeah. Feels good. Feels good. Got a snowboard in tow. Big red taken. Give it a red eye crack. Let's uh, see if we can hit Mach 9, eh? Oh yeah. <laughs> it down. Fair old whack of hill to walk up. And uh, if you can see Mr. Vander, he's, uh, he's struggling a little bit there. He's had to stop six or seven times. I don't think he's, uh, he's quite got the lung capacity of uh, the younger fellas. I think that's what it is. That's why he's got to stop a few times, eh, Mr. Vander? Oh yeah. I've walked up the easy way. Yeah, Shane did it in one step, the cheeky bugger. But you got two obstacles, two jumps. Go, young fella. Yeah, buddy. Standing up on top of Big Red. Looking down at the Big Bash, 2022. How's that for picturesque views? So we are camped right up the back. So we walk out to the main stage, which is up here, where they have all the, uh, the live music playing. And uh, watching all the kids, and especially the big kids, go down a big sand dune, preferably without breaking bones. There we go, Papa Vanda. Got, got a bit of a push. A bit of a push, mate. Lean back. Oh, you went so fast. Man, I don't think the GoPro caught it. difference is someone had to be carried and how was that feeling when I had to carry you on the hill Mr. Vander? Yeah, it sucked. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, picturesque. This is the final day that we're here for. Oh, I'll change that camera view. Pretty specky view, I'll tell you what. Awesome. It's a very picturesque outback country we live in. Tell you what, let's see, yeah? You enjoying your juice there, mate? You good? Yeah, wow, 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 wow. So I wait for the uh, the kids to bring the boogie boards up and then whoosh, there we go. <coughs> there they come. They coming up now? Yeah, we beat them. They're right down there, the kids. They're right. All right, well, that's a wrap for the Big Bash 2022. Um, 
Hope you guys have enjoyed it. We've had an absolutely bloody awesome time. Um, apart from all the dust, but that's what being out in the outback is. It's the most remote music festival anywhere in the whole world. Um, we've all had a kick-ass time. Now we're gonna shoot it from um, where we are here in Birdsville straight to the Sunshine Coast and then we'll, the next time you'll see us is on Fraser. So we'll be there hopefully in about four days. So we're gonna spend the next four days driving straight across. We're not doing any stops so we're not really probably gonna film anything on that one. But um, yeah, so thanks, uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and uh, check out the next episode which will be in the Sunshine Coast uh, straight up on a Fraser. A year ago but I'll be okay I move on each